Blessed Be. I'm Lady Maris, and welcome to the Circle of Hecka. So shadow work, what is it? Now I know that you've looked at the last couple of videos and you're going, where's the magic? Where is the, where's the candles? Where are the spells? Where is, where's all that sexy witchy stuff? Well, it's coming, don't worry. But you need to have a base. You need to have somewhere to start. Now, I was talking to a friend the other day and I was, I was talking about this pretty much. How do I explain why I'm going through all of this stuff that seems really boring and mundane and gosh, you know, I thought witchy stuff was, was, was exciting and sexy. The reason is that you need to have a foundation. You start off without a good solid foundation, then you're going to fail. You're going to you're going to end up being pretty much worse off than you started. So when I was talking to a friend, I was I mentioned the uh, the movie uh, Karate Kid, the first Karate Kid, and if you remember that, Mr Miyagi was was teaching uh, the young uh, the young. Uh, karate kid the uh, the ways of, of karate so we started off with now you must wax all my cars wax on wax off you must paint the uh, paint the, the fence you know up and down you, uh, you all of those different things so it was starting off to understand the the technique um, becoming strong in using that technique and also discipline. Discipline is the thing that, that is the, the most important thing. Discipline, doing it over and over and over again. So you have that repetition to the point where you don't even have to think, okay? Now, when it comes to ritual, ritual is repetition. It is what you do every day. So when you have a, rep, a, a ritual, then you're doing it habitually, you're doing it every single day, to the point that you don't even consciously think about it. So when it comes to that sort of thing, it is something that you need to keep doing and then you don't have to consciously think about it. So the magic is coming. Please do not be discouraged of like, oh, this is really boring, what do I do? Unfortunately, a lot of sites go straight into the witchy stuff, straight into that, let's do the spell for this, let's do the spell for that, with no actual deeper understanding of what is involved beforehand as to why you need to cultivate a certain type of attitude um, and how you need to have concentration and how you need to be able to do certain things to be able to make that spell work. It's great to know, oh, this is great, this is how to do a spell. But if you don't have that background knowledge, then the spell isn't going to work as effectively as it could do. So now shadow work. Why do we do shadow work? Now, not a lot of witches that I am aware of do do shadow work. And I feel, and especially when it comes to the circle of Hecka, is something that is really important. Now, I've said once before that this magic circle is like a magnifying glass. It amplifies. And when you have certain parts of your psyche, certain parts of yourself that you have pushed down, that you have pushed to the side, that you don't want to actually acknowledge, the magic circle amplifies that. It actually comes out and goes, oh, all right, we're gonna have a look at that. And we're going to expand on that and, and, and make it even worse than it actually is, okay? So you have to deal with it. And I've known in my experience that many people start on a magical journey, start working within a magic circle, and then, then go downhill very, very fast. It is the whole thing of, oh, I started on the witchcraft thing, I started on Wicca, and it must be really evil because lots of bad things started happening. No. Please understand that it is the things that are with you already. It is that baggage. It is the shadows that you have developed over time, over from the day that you were born until the day you start on a magical life. 
those are the things that have been built up. And those are the things that need to be dealt with, stripped back, stripped away, before you can start to actually work magic properly. Now, is it an ongoing process? It is something that will happen over years and years and years. And it doesn't mean that you cannot start doing working magic, working with the goddess, working in a magic circle. But you need to start the process. If you deny the process, then that's when things start to get pretty intense and pretty real. So when you start to do it, work through the process, start to strip back the layers of yourself and working out what's you and why you react to certain things. So your shadow is the things that you have suppressed, the things that you have pushed back in your own uh, way you deal with people. Now it is all about balance. When you are a witch, you need to be balanced. There's two sides of the coin and there's two poles. And it comes to be what's known as polarized. So if you are polarized, it means that you are stuck on one pole or the other. When you're a witch, when you're a magician, when you're doing any magical work at all, you need to become balanced. You need to be in the center. You need to say, if there's a pendulum and it is moving, okay, it shouldn't be moving very fast from one pole to the other. It should be slowly moving in the center just a little bit. So you don't have atrophy but you don't have that polarization. So it is all about balance. Again, with shadow work. If you don't start shadow work in the beginning, when you start on this magical journey, it is amplified in the magic circle. Things about yourself that you don't like are amplified. Oh, you know, I never, nothing ever goes right for me. I, um, you know, I start a project and it never, never actually eventuates. All of those sorts of things that are in your psyche, within yourself, become amplified in a magic circle, in a magical situation. And those things need to be dealt with so that you can start moving forward, okay? You don't want your negativities to be ma magnified. You want your positivities to be magnified. So if you don't deal with your negative, then your positive can't be magnified. Okay? When you start on a magical, magical life, a magical road, you open up a light. And you say to the goddess and god, you say to the universe, you say to your subconscious, I would like to be better than I am right now. And what needs to happen is that baggage needs to be dealt with. So if you say, so if you say, okay, I'm at the airport and I have all this baggage and I want to get into the plane, but the baggage is overweight. Okay, now what do you do? Do you deal with it? Do you get rid of that baggage so that you can make it onto the plane? Do you pay that extra for the excess baggage? What do you do? Either way, that excess needs to be dealt with. So when you uh, go through initiation, you go through the path of the witch, it means that you need to deal with that baggage because what will happen is the universe, the goddess and god, will conspire to make you deal with that. So I hear lots of people in the past who have gone, oh, I've started on this Wicca, I've started on this witchcraft thing, and then my life has just gone to shit. Things have happened in my life, and I've got, what's going on? I thought that witchcraft was rainbows and light and, and fairies and everything was gonna be wonderful, and now my life is shit. And they've forgotten that the fact is that for things to come in, others have to be taken away. When the glass is full and you start to put more things in, what happens? The glass overflows. So you need to empty stuff, you need to absorb that, you need to, to deal with that 
before you can put the new stuff in. So when it comes to initiation and going into a magical life and people starting to find out that their life ends up being a little bit worse than when it began, it is because the universe is going, you need to deal with this. You need to deal with this and you need to deal with this. And if you don't, then of course things are going to happen. All right, but if you start to deal with those things that are the shadows within your life, then you'll find out that more things will happen for you. The universe will then conspire to help you along your road, help you to become a more magical person, a more magical being. Because to be balanced, you need to have a balance of light and dark. And in the new age kind of idea of what spirituality is, when it comes to um, enlightenment, light is seen as the best thing. But light can be used as a weapon. If you shine a light in, someone, uh, in someone's eyes, they cannot see, they are blinded, okay? Which means that enlightenment can be used as a weapon. You force enlightenment into someone's eyes and they cannot see what else is around, okay? So light and dark are two sides of the same coin. Light and dark is the two sides of yourself. If you deny one side, then you deny the other, okay? So if you are always in the light, oh, I'm, a, I'm an enlightened being, I'm spiritual, and I just stay in the light, then it means that you are avoiding the shadows, you're avoiding the dark, you're avoiding a part of yourself so that you be so if you're avoiding that, then you're not an authentic being. So you avoid that, it means that those shadows start to become more powerful. What you avoid and what you turn your back to becomes more powerful because you are afraid of it. Stand, if you like, in the light and face your fears, face your shadows, absorb them into yourself so you become a whole being. You become a whole person, okay? You are not only in the light, only in one side. One-sided, you are both sides. You are in the center, you are centered. You are both light and dark, positive and negative. You are male and female, you are goddess and god. You are centered and you are whole. But until you start to work with your shadow, and still you, until you start to integrate that within yourself, then that is not going to happen. Because the path of the witch is someone who is balanced and someone who is both light and dark. Just being in the light is not being balanced. And the witch is a balanced being.